A Tasmanian beekeeper has taken to the skies to ensure his bees can collect pollen from highly sought after leatherwood trees. They're only found in remote parts of the state's rainforest, including the Tarkine. And after the bridge into the forest was washed away in last year's floods, the hives have been airlifted by helicopter. This is the moment more than 70,000 bees are plucked from the back of a truck and lifted hundreds of metres into the air above Tasmania's Tarkine rainforest. The eight beehives are flown across the Arthur River and dropped into position near rare flowering leatherwood trees. Over five hours, one million bees in 216 hives make the journey. 70 to 90 per cent of all of our honey in Tasmania is leatherwood. That's the only opportunity we have to get honey. To access the leatherwood trees, Lindsay Burke needs to move the hives to the Arthur River Forest Reserve each year. But the sites were cut off last June when flooding damaged roads. There isn't anywhere else. That's why we go to such desperate measures to get them here. To keep the hives steady in the air, a special rig had to be custom built in Queensland. I've done lots of like aerial crane stuff, but nothing with the bees is pretty interesting. <laughs> Once in the forest, beekeepers took over the operation, moving the hives into place. I've never heard of it being done before anywhere in Australia. Loving it, yeah, best day ever, best <laughs> beekeeping day ever. Leatherwood trees are only found in small pockets in Tasmania's rainforest. It's hoped this technique of flying in hives will allow beekeepers to get to new areas of leatherwood inaccessible by road. That'd help Tasmania's honey producers expand. They've been struggling to keep up with demand since the state's leatherwood honey was awarded world's best last year. We say, look, you can have so much and I'll deliver it and that is the price. Expansion could also help Tasmania's booming seed crop industry. Pollination's a vital part. A little bit of pollination is done by native and other insects, but the bees play the major part. They've already told us they need more bees, even, even more bees next year. So we have to keep expanding with the pollinating requirements. For now, these bees will collect leatherwood pollen in preparation for winter. Salise Gibson, ABC News.